What is up dudes, welcome back. Last time we spoke about the Rosomak, now let's clarify the Sphinx Tech Tree. So we start at tier 3 with OT65A and then it splits to Jamila, it goes up and down straight to VBL. And here with VBL we have a big transition with a tank that has no correlation with any of the tanks in the Tech Tree. But I decided to split it and put it in the middle. The Fox. And why? Uh, VPL in the past used to have a machine gun and an ATGM launcher but then it's got split into two pieces and if you guys don't trust me go ahead and watch uh, some other videos on YouTube about the VPL in the past in the beginning of the game or a video what I've made about the VPL was the difference between these two it's an old video but I think it's not such important nowadays especially if it's a tier 5 and why I put Fox at tier 6 because it's gonna be a transition from ATGMs and machine guns in the same tank or in the same vehicle and not separately Well, you change it from tech 3 from here on we go um, up and down we will go this time we go up with the tier 7 VBL Ingwe and then VB Air Crap at tier 9 and Sphinx at tier 10. Now uh, let's go down from love 150. We go to XM 800T Lao and here we switch. We switch to a BMP1 at tier 4. And why do I do that? Because this tank it has a really good gun and does a lot of damage at tier 3. In my eyes is much higher than even a tier 3 tank and should be treated uh, as it is and from bmp1 we go straight to bmp2 and here we have an upgrade of the tank which makes sense and we have no gaps so first they came with the bmp1 without atgms and machine gun and then it comes at tier 5 with an atgm launcher machine gun uh, and infantry inside the tank which is impressive and it's really good we have a huge gap that we really need to fill up so we put fox in the middle so if you go from vbl straight to fox you will go ahead and go to vbl ingwe also down to bvp m2 so now the line changes we have a bvp m2 which it is a better version of the bmp2 but this tank is gonna be at tier 7 the tier 6 bvp i always said in my early uh, live streams in my early live streams that this tank is much better than a tier 6 it needs to be changed that's why i moved him from the line of uh, rosomak and put him here down because this tank is much better than even the rosomak at tier 7 he is equally even to the Rosomac at tier 8 and plus it has tracks, different design, different approach you can play very aggressive with the tank, it has infantry abilities and so on which are not similar with the tier 6 um, position that it's in the game they are not very similar also with the Rosomac in the game so this is a different line we have to keep and do not change so much about the lines itself Next up is the warrior in the game is tier 7 here we have him at tier 8 why at tier 8 because it is a version of a warrior in the game that it's much higher than even the stock the stock version of the warrior yes is a tier 7 the fully upgraded version is a tier 8 this tank can do a lot of damage and I'm not joking uh, the tank can do a lot of damage point that's it it has abilities, ATGMs, good machine, uh, kind of bulky, can survive some shots uh, impressively. And that's it man, this tank should be a tier 8. And now comes the shocking factor that you guys never expected, the Broadley, the Broadley FV. Now Broadleys are a lot of them and a lot of versions. This sort of Broadley that we have is like one of the earliest Broadleys, it doesn't have so much armor and even that one that it has a when i'm speaking about armor doesn't have so much armor on the turret and the turret 
versions of the Broadly are very different nowadays, even are some good versions. So also I put the Broadly at tier 9 because this tank at tier 8 kind of makes a lot of damage and can do a lot of damage to a tier 9 and 10. And the last one, it is a version of Broadly that you find it um, also in 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 toys for kids collections collectors and so on this is the m2a3 with busk free this version of Bradley has a different type of an armor a uh, different position of the armor different turret different armament on the turret different radios and so on and even different atgm launcher it's a much better Bradley. And this will be a tier 10 broadly and this is one of the broadly that we really need to have in the game to fill up the tech tree we don't have any tier 9 versions of broadly even though there are some versions of broadly in real life even nowadays the american defense department tried to make uh, a better broadly if after they spend i don't know 20 billion dollars or 20 million dollars stuff like this to make a broadly and in the end they failed but it's totally worth it to make a tank uh, to defend your country and so on so they're still trying uh, to do this and um, yeah the tank it's very very interesting I'm gonna make a video about him in the future and the last one it is the BMD one line I switched some tanks that's gonna be very fun for you guys so I have the BMD one at tier 3 the BMD one Puma at tier 4 and we have the bmd2 at tier 5 and we have the bmd2m which is an upgraded version of the bmd2 in the game this one has a double launcher the previous bmd2 has just one launcher and the next one it is a version let's put it like this they stopped using the atgm launcher and they use just two barrels one barrel that can shoot two different types of ap rounds two different types of atgms and two different types of heat ammo very interesting tank also has the same abilities but it is a, a different type of a tank which should not be added to um, the wrong tier, put it like this. So I will put the BMD4 at tier 7. That's why there are all, the, all of them 7. And the uh, BMD2M is gonna be at tier 6. And the rest of it is history. We have the Ramka. And from Ramka we're gonna go straight to BMPT72 the terminator we ain't gonna go straight to t249 t249 is gonna have a different tech tree different line this one should not be planned should not even go straight to the that tank should go straight to bmp t72 and from this tank to t15 armata and this is history what to say guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh part two of the AV line between these two uh, two tanks that we pointed out and another tank that is not in the game and some other tanks that should be uh, placed in a different tech tree i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tell me what you think about this tech tree in the comment section and uh share it share it as much as you can and uh, see you next time